Thanks for tuning in for me today. I have a influencer Vox box. Haven't gotten one of these in a really long time. In fact, I actually complained on the influencer Facebook page because I have been getting more and more of these virtual boxes where I have to go out and they'll give you like, for example, the Sally Hansen airbrush legs box box, virtual box, whatever they call it is floating around. And that stuff is like, I think 10 to $12 in store. And I'm a part of that box and I was given, wait for it, a like two or three dollar coupon to go out and buy it and then test it. Not my thing. If you want me to rave about your product or uh, honestly try out your product and then you reap all the benefits if I love it, you better give it to me for free. If, like that's, I just don't like the concept of I want to participate in these, I have to pay. I don't agree with that. I think that that's really shady and really unfair to do to influencers. So I wrote a comment on the Facebook page. I actually got like surprising like thumbs up and people were liking my response because I'm not going to do things like that. And if that's what influencer is becoming, I don't want to be a part of it. Well, strangely enough, and I don't know if these two things are connected or not, but a few days later, I got an email that I was going to be getting this Vox box, which I haven't gotten one in a really long time. If you don't know Influencer, it's essentially this um, distributor for actual companies to send people things, or it's supposed to be, they send people things, and then people tend to test them out, and on social media, they'll talk about them. That's kind of the one thing that they ask, is that you give your thoughts, good or bad, about the products. So this Vox box has a theme, but I can't remember the name of it. Um, I've actually had this for maybe, I think, almost a week, so I've been able to try some of the things out. Normally, I show I film these really early, so I don't have a chance to try them out. So we're gonna try a different format today. Let me know in the comments below if you like this format better than me just showing you what's in the box, and I'll try doing that with other things like maybe, maybe Birch Box or maybe with um, like a Target box in the future. We'll find out. Okay, so this is actually the Sunshine Vox Box, and it came with a little description of things that are in here. Uh, the other inserts I got, I got a bunch of these, um, what are they? Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel Product Coupons. They're $3 off any Witch Hazel product and they expire at the end of August. I never had heard of this brand, to be honest, um, and I'll share your thoughts on them um, with the product they gave me. The other thing I got that I haven't turned in yet, but they gave us a coupon for a free bag of Bark Thins. I don't, I've never heard of these before. It looks like, it says it's a snacking chocolate and they've got like dark chocolate pumpkin seeds, dark chocolate pretzels, and dark chocolate blueberries. Um, I don't eat, or I don't really like dark chocolate. You guys have probably seen that I've been around here a while and seen some of my pinch boxes or pinch me boxes, but I'll probably, when I go back to Boston, ask Ben which one he wants me to get and we'll get that and then we'll try it and We'll see how it goes. But this is really cool to get a free product and I get to choose the flavor, which is pretty awesome. Now we'll get into the first thing that I've tested out and that would be these Blue Diamond Almonds Bold Sriracha flavored. I am not a big spicy person. So when I saw these, I was like, mm, I don't know. Well, one night after I was done eating dinner, I still wanted something else, but I'm trying to be healthier. And if you guys want a video on that, I'll talk about that. I'm doing um, the 3S Abby Ab Asbin shade. I'm probably gonna say her last name wrong program. If you want a video on that, happy to do it. But I tried these. Oh my God, these are really good. These are a really savory snack. They're not too like hot and intense. Yes, I always have water nearby when I'm drinking these, but I'm never like dying after eating them. I think it's a really awesome snack to have and it's better than having plain almonds. I'm not a big like nut person. I don't just love to get a handful of peanuts or cashews and munch on those, but I really did enjoy these. So I'm probably gonna pick some of these up. I especially like the snack packs because they're really handy and convenient. The next thing I got was a sinful colors nail polish I got the color Oceanside which I actually already own so I am gonna save this for you guys for a giveaway I really do like sinful colors nail polish Next up we have a lotion product in here we got the Vaseline intensive care spray moisturizer aloe soothe it's non greasy it moisturizes and absorbs in seconds to help heal dry skin I as you guys know am a lotion fiend I like this, but I don't like this. I like this for days when I don't want to put a thick body lotion on. And I say that because this is a super thin formula. You get just like the 
thinnest moisturizer on your skin, but it actually is really effective, just as effective as using a thicker moisturizer. And sometimes if I'm kind of in a hurry post shower and I need to put lotion on, but I don't want to spend a lot of time doing it, I do like something like this. However, the two cons that I have with this is you get a lot of product not on your body, just because of the fact that it's designed to be a spray. So even though I'm trying to be precise, I always find that I have lotion residue on the same a little bit on the floor and maybe sometimes things get a little bit crazy on the wall. So I don't like it for that because I feel like there's a lot of waste with this because you can't always get the most precise laying of the product, which it's not anybody's fault. You're supposed to hold it, you know, about four inches away from you and spray it. Well, so by default, the spray is going to be a bit wider than my arm or so I'm going to assume. So there's a little bit of waste and there's also a little bit of mess with this. The other thing is the directions tell you to quickly rub in to moisturize skin instantly. They didn't lie. Quickly is correct. I literally have to spray, put it down, and then rub. And if I'm not quick enough, I have to spray a little bit again. And I mean, I don't have what I think are super like big arms and I tend to spray when I do it. I spray this way. I turn and I spray the other way and sometimes that's not enough so it's kind of like eh, that's a little bit of a pain that it dries so very fast again because it's such a thin lotion but if you're somebody who one doesn't like really thick lotions at all this is for you if you're somebody that doesn't want to spend a lot of time putting lotion on this is also for you and if you're somebody that is kind of what I would consider like a lazy lotion putter on her because that's definitely a god and I teach English that's a tough one um if you're somebody who's kind of like I just don't really like putting lotion on this is really simple to do so I, I mean it's really low maintenance so this is probably for you next thing we have in here is the infusium 23 salon hair care this is the leave-in smoothing cream I've never heard of this brand before and it's actually really funny to that I just got this because if you guys watched my 15 samples in 15 days I actually got hooked on smoothing creams because when I curl my hair like this I would always by the end of the day have like my own atmosphere of frizz happening super cute slash not really and I didn't know something like this existed and could thus cure that problem as you can see I've had my hair curled now for like I don't know five or six hours and I am frizz free this stuff is great I don't know what this stuff retails for I use the other one I really like that I bought is the L'Oreal one and I think that's no more than five dollars if it's five dollars I think it's less than that um so I probably will stick with that if this is more expensive but I'm very much enjoying this and it's a really awesome product for that exact purpose of you know decreasing frizz in your hair the last thing I got in here was the Dickinson's original witch hazel da daily refreshing clean cleansing cloths with botanical extracts that was a lot to say. I apologize. There are 25 of these in here. Um, I don't know a lot about witch hazel. It's actually, again, interesting that I received these because I was watching a video from Glam Life Guru and she mentioned that witch hazel is actually a controversial product. I'm too lazy to Google it, but if you have any insight into what she meant by that, let me know down below. But initially, my first thoughts on this I don't like the way this smells. I don't think this is a pleasant smell. Um, what are the, I think it's, Oh God, it smells like, I don't know, bark or like bark and honey. I don't know. I just don't like the way these smell. They're not my jam. Maybe that's the witch hazel. I don't know. But I have used these three different ways. I have used them um, just to clean my face because naturally I forgot face wash in Massachusetts when I came up to Maine for a few days. And these are not bad. My face feels nice and refreshed. It feels clean. It doesn't feel as good as it would if I were using actual like face wash, but it does the job when you're in a pinch and I like it for that. I've also used these when I went to the gym and didn't have time to shower before going out to dinner. So I use these to like clean my whole body. And again, they felt clean, my body parts felt refreshed, and I was no longer gross and stinky. So that worked again for that situation. The last way I've used these is actually for their intended purpose, which is to remove makeup. And that's where these kind of fall off the wagon. These are not super effective at getting eye makeup off. Slash, it says here in the directions, avoid direct contact with eyes. Now, 
this could be me being stupid, but does that mean not to touch my actual eyeball? Or do you mean not to touch my eyelids? Because I did not read that before using these. And I have to admit to you guys, it kind of stung my eyes a little bit. Slash, I felt like I had to rub pretty aggressively to get all my eye makeup off. And nothing I was wearing was waterproof. So like, I will use these simply because I have them. But as far as my first impressions and being introduced to this brand, I'm not super excited about it. Um, I am gonna look up online what other items they offer in here and where they sell this stuff because I've honestly never even seen this brand before. Um, and then maybe try one other thing out to give them, you know, a benefit of the doubt. Perhaps I don't like one thing, but I might like something else. But so far, I'm just kind of eh on it. So for me, the highlights of my Vox box are definitely these bold sriracha almonds and this cream to try out. The kind of things that I'm like, you know, they're good to have, but I'm not like super excited would be the Vaseline lotion and the sinful colors. And then the one item that I'm really like, <laughs> I don't just don't think it's for me would be these witch hazel Dickinson's cleansing cloths. So that is it for this Vox box. If you guys want me to do any kind of follow up on any of these products, let me know down below. If you liked this format of me being able to give you my thoughts and um, opinions on on the product not just showing you what it is let me know down below and I'll maybe try that out with like my August birch box and I'll talk to you guys on my next video bye